Put your hands together for our very special guests, Gordon Strachan and Neil Lennon. Sure it's a grand old team to play for. Sure it's a grand old team be dad. When you read its history, it's enough to make your heart grow sad. God bless them, we don't care if we win, lose or draw. Darn the hair, we care because we all The question is, who's the most technically gifted player who manages Selig and your other players? Um, Pat Finneal. <laughs> <laughs> well, <why not? laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we, uh, I'm lucky with really. you. It's, it's one of these good things. You just come and just watch training every, every morning. You watch some fantastic players like Sean, Aidan. Um, I think it was just sheer absolute skill. I'm sure that this brilliant. Um, <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> just, just check. There's no email at the stair. <laughs> used to be, Bruno used to be a stair on the first sign. The first sign, a, 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 a couple of times I spoke to him at half time. His eyes never moved. <laughs> No matter what you say to him, you could say you're the worst game in the world, you just have that stare. You could say you're a great player, you still have that stare. I used to ask my coaching staff, what did I actually say to him? Because he doesn't react to anything. But anyway, get away from Bruni. It's a good, it's a good thing to do is get away from Bruni as quick as you can. Um, Shunsuki Nakamura, probably. Level, but I was just trying to explain to somebody recently that every time we played a home game here at Celtic Park, after that, my finish having my, my rant or moan or whatever it was that I had for five months, since you used to put no training gear on, he got to stay and work in the gym on the week for about an hour after the game. Um, he never actually caught with the guys that wouldn't just go for a pint, but he used to, he'd be about a, a half an hour, an hour after the game just doing weights, just to make sure he was ready for the next again game. So I think just for sheer skill, matter of fact, have you seen that YouTube thing where you set a ball through the window? The moving bus. You did that a couple of times later, but you just doing that. You never met it. That's the thing I'll do. I'm going to play some other one on who devised the quiz. Because I'm sitting there and it's, you know, Gordon got play of the year and won the Super Cup and won his Cup and his Cup of Aberdeen. How many red shorts did any of You were raging the night and we're never going to cheer you up anyway, so I thought I'd just go for it. But to be fair, he got sent off one game, I didn't even know he got sent off. He got sent off at Rangers. I was busy bollocking uh, Tomo for getting sent off, because I, I said to everybody, keep calm, the team that loses the temper here always loses the old firm game, so it's your videos and tackles and bad tackles and everything. He said, don't get involved with that. Tomo got sent off in half an hour. So after the game, we got beaten, I was bollocking him. I said, like, how can we play when we get one player sent off? And I heard the voice behind me, I got sent off too, Gaffer. <laughs> when, when did you get sent off? Oh, just in the tunnel, just a couple of seconds, all right, so. 